all part of some bigger picture, some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favour. How do I know you're good for your favours? You can bank my favours. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Get in the car. Wait, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. Right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Get in the fucking car. Family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. 
I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Where's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the car, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be alright. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. They have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me different oxygen and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. But that still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams, this will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off! Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50 50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done! Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. 
We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very it out of the dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the bowl there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at £2 million. Pounds. £2 million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I get 20% of the Thank sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Mate, Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ, I'm waiting. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your phone? Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna have Again, a heart thank you, madam. Do you have a eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, got feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Like logarithmic curve. Derivative eleven five zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid. Your bid at eleven, madam. What eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. 
So do I hear 12-5? 12-5 I'm looking for. 12-5. It's your bit at 12, madam. Looking for 12-5. 12-5. 12 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12-5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, madam. 12-5. Are we all out? At 12-5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12-5 once. 12-5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Go. Alert the guards or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to.
did not expect this to go that smoothly. <sighs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you won't begin to like playing this game. Definitely shouldn't I? Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place to turn it into money. Too fucking right. Go and take a left. Some sort of high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. to Woos to finish what you started. So Mr. Yeah, well that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go.
Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going wrong. Well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Follow me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not to Lynn. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Adam, turn by your way, Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Troy family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! No. Fuck you. You owe us money and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. Fuck 
fucking great. Still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against him and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. Believe Wu. They knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from N Channel News. I'm on the side. Not adding much to this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for twenty percent job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Right here on Air Channel News. But before that, we end up on here. Don't ask me. Don't ask me.
downstairs. Just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I, I was lighter just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bomb? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. Oh, come on, May. What do you take me for? I only realised at the hotel we saw the copy. I didn't know the two jobs were connected. People died. People died because you didn't know the two jobs were connected. That's not fair. Look, stop whining and start fucking thinking. Where is the bloody rice bowl? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I don't want anyone else to die. But we have to get the ball back to the choice of this or just go on. Look. Are you ready after doing this? Yeah. Okay. Let's find a solution out of this mess, shall we? Together. Okay, 
Let's start with what we know. I can see that Paul must somehow be involved. But why the theft if he could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Hainsworth, they would have found out. <laughs> Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been understandable from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a stop. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. I live with that. No, she says Paul's fucked us, so let's pay this guy a visit. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he thank has you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. 
I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you. And you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bolt? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Troys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Troys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community and you clearly are not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking ball! I don't know where it is! <sighs> I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking yet. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? Get on your knees. Oh, for the love of God, I'm an old man. Get on your fucking knees! All right, all right. The bowl is here. I collected the chest last night. Show it to me. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven, nine, nineteen, zero, one. So it's like that now, is it? You don't think I'm just going to give it to you, just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you're going to do. The bowl's not here. Then where is it? It's not here. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? Okay. Okay. Then we'll wait here. Together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. No. No, I don't think so, Mr. Parr. There are some things in life your money can't buy. And I'm one of them. Who are you calling? Sit down. Yeah, it's me. Speak. The ball's been delivered to Samuel Parr's house. When? Sometime today, I don't know. The girl dies in one hour. No, 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 no. no. You, you have to keep her alive. You have to believe me. Okay. I said men. No, no, listen, you... Hello? Chinese fuckers. Saying just because they owned it once, it's theirs forever.
Who are you? I park cars. You don't look as if you park cars. I suppose not. Delivery for Mr. Park. Where's my link? We don't know. Where she live? We investigate a matter with Mr. Paul himself. Where's my Ling? She's here. Are we free to go? Room 731. Liu Chai Long. What did he say? Goodbye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.